Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to use Nifty and Mag Nifty derivatives indicators that I have made, and uh, how to predict the market using that. So after doing so many live streamings and after uh, I have convinced many people that yes, this actually works by showing them live how the model works and how the model predicts the market. So now the next question. Uh, that is how to use this uh, model or how to use these indicators so uh, let's come to the nifty derivatives indicator so as you can see that here the scores are generated okay so where it's written nifty derivatives indicator that column and the timestamp and uh, what is the current value of the index okay and so this is the main part of the indicator so the score is the main part now let's first talk about what are the other parts or uh, what are the secondary analysis that uh, are also in this sheet so first of all you should be concerned about the oipcr that is the put call ratio okay so if uh, it's greater than 1.10 so it's considered as, as bullish and if it's below uh, 0.8 it's considered as bearish but also sometimes it depends on the market condition but so these are the reference I use you can use different reference for your uh, analysis now Coming to the next thing that is this is the intraday so it doesn't depend on the OIPC here okay so it has a different analysis so uh, you should look at this what uh, it's saying okay so that's an overall view so it might not happen like uh, the market will always follow that trend so just for an overall view and then you'll have this premium decay okay tab where uh, according to the premium decay what is the overall view you will get it okay so you just need to keep these overall view in your mind now if during the intraday if some uh, at some point you see that the premium decay uh, interpretation has changed so that's a very strong signal of reversal okay and below here you have the nifty graph okay and correspondingly you have the score graph okay so now on the left hand side you have these strike prices all these strike prices and then the next column that you see interpretation column so they basically try to interpret the uh, what happened to those strike prices okay so whether long unwinding short positions or uh, uh, so there are four combinations okay so uh, that is short covering long uh, unwinding or uh, long or short positions are being made so this interpretation column is uh, interpreted at it, uh, uh, with the help of the uh, I mean according to with respect to the previous day data so that is during the intraday that is not very much important okay the one th which is important is this IV conclusion so I have named it as IV conclusion but uh, it not only depends on IV but also it depends on the rate of change of many variables okay so it's now showing uh, for many positions that uh, it's no conclusion so if it doesn't find any conclusion it will write no conclusion but if it finds conclusion then it will definitely say and that is what uh, is happening at that moment instantaneously okay the score gets updated uh, at an interval of 1 minute 30 seconds and at every 1 minute 30 seconds you get to know what instantaneously are, are happening at the at those positions okay so that's the main important uh, thing the IV conclusion uh, columns okay and uh, on here you have the app status so that's not important now let's come to the next uh, the most important thing is the score so uh, the main uh, statement of the score is if you see them decreasing then it means that uh, market is going to go down if it's increasing then market is going to go up so it doesn't matter like whether the scores are negative or positive you have to see whether the scores are decreasing or increasing okay now uh, if the scores are 
अबव नाइन्टी और हंड्रेड और बिलो नाइन्टी नेगेटिव नाइन्टी और हंड्रेड देन इट्स सो इट्स इफ इट्स अबव नाइन्टी और हंड्रेड देन इट्स इन ओवर बॉड पोजिशन एंड इफ इट्स बिलो नेगेटिव नाइन्टी और नेगेटिव हंड्रेड देन इट्स इन ओवर सोल्ड पोजिशन ओके एंड नाउ लेट्स कम टू द स्कोर्स सो एज यू सी दैट टूडे दैट इज ट्वेल्थ अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो द स्कोर स्टार्टेड इन द नेगेटिव डिरेक्शन ओके एंड एज यू कैन सी देर वॉज अ फॉल इन निफ्टी ओके सो इट्स अ क्लियर इंडिकेशन दैट द स्कोर आर डिक्रीज येस डिक्रीजिंग एज यू कैन सी टिल नाइन थर्टी फोर इट डिक्रीज टू नेगेटिव थर्टी फोर ओके सो द स्कोर वेर डिक्रीजिंग एंड सो निफ्टी फेल एंड नाउ इफ यू कम a little below so the scores are in decreasing mode as you can see but all of a sudden here there was some jump okay as you can see that the score became slightly positive and then again negative okay so here and then again slightly positive negative so when you see that the scores are bounded okay wherever it might not be like uh, at uh, it's bounded at two or three points so wherever the scores are bounded like uh, if you even go to bank nifty yes so if you come below here as you can see here the scores uh, were like after this 40 it was it came down to 20 and so here it was bounded in 20s the scores okay so whenever you see that the scores are uh suppose the scores were increasing and at certain point it just stopped like uh it it's uh, moving in that range now so that means you have to understand that there is uh some thing like which is bounding the scores and that means uh on the opposite direction like if the scores were increasing then a put short or call longs were happening okay so if the scores are not moving higher that that means either the put shot or the call, uh, or, or no more put shots or call longs are happening okay so you have to understand that uh, the positions that were made that were being made have now uh, are like almost at a constant rate so it's now the positions are not increasing okay so also uh if you look at both nifty and bank nifty derivatives indicators so if these two scores are in the same direction that is if they both are decreasing or if they both are increasing then it's a strong signal okay and it's a sure short trade so as you can see let me show you that is here at 11:35 onwards you see that the scores were uh, like almost flat okay but nifty was increasing nifty was increasing from here so if this happens that nifty is increasing but the scores are almost flat then reversal is near okay and if suppose nifty or uh, any index bank nifty also is decreasing but the scores are not decreasing then it's a reversal okay let me show you that here as you can see the scores uh, the nifty was increasing okay uh, but as you can see the scores here they are almost flat and then at neg uh, 11 36 38 it just went negative okay and then again it was almost flat and then again went negative so when it went negative here it was a sign of reversal okay so that means the big players started making positions uh, when uh, at that moment and now after that as you can see that so the big players started making positions at 11 36 so after that as you can see here from 12 15 market started coming down okay but now notice that while market was coming down here uh, so at 12 uh, 13 30 so 13 30 here you see that 13 30 to 13 45 it was a red candle and everyone was bearish 
today so 13 yeah as you can see ma uh, market was coming down nifty was coming down but as you can see the scores just stopped there as i just told you that the scores went to the 20s and then 21 20 negative 21 negative 19 so it's now bounded so then you see that now look at 1342 so from negative 21 it came to negative 14 so the score increased and then negative 21 again negative 20 negative 20 and then again st started increasing negative 18 negative 19 negative 15 and so on okay so though market was in a bearish mode here score did not move uh, below further and as you can see the reversal happened okay so even if you want to confirm your trade with bank nifty also because bank nifty has some uh, so uh, uh, has some effect on nifty so here 1342 as you can see here yeah so 13 41 42 yes so the score of bank nifty as you can see here it was dropping and it dropped here and then again started increasing so from here onwards like negative 15 negative 12 so, so from 1351 onwards it started increasing okay and so uh, at that point both nifty and bank nifty st uh, points started increasing and so it was a very sure shot trade that nifty is go uh, going to go up okay so yes so that's how you basically trade that is uh, with the help of these indicators and uh, so that's how you use the score that is if the scores are uh, decreasing okay you have to uh, see how by how much it's decreasing or is it uh, has it decreased and then it's constantly moving at uh, that interval or not so that's how you interpret the movements beforehand okay and you get the reversals signs of reversals beforehand and uh, both together nifty and mag nifty you get a sheer shot trade if they are in the same direction if they are in the opposite direction i usually don't take the trade so yeah and also uh, uh, the question remains when to short and when to uh, take long so the first thing is that if market is very volatile you have to check the iv then you can buy uh, calls or puts but if iv is not much like in these type of market situations uh, you can uh, take short positions okay so uh, you can either short calls or short the puts according to the score okay and yeah so that's how the indicators help you and if you see that all of a sudden the score like jumped like more than 20 to 30 points or uh, it came down all of a sudden uh, more than 20, uh, 30 points or more than that then you can initiate your uh, if it goes up by uh, more than 30 points all of a sudden uh, then you can initiate your call long and if it goes down by 30 points it, you can initiate call uh, uh, put long so it has to happen the jump has to happen between one or two scores okay so it's not like uh, over a time period if the jump is there so all of a sudden if there is such a jump then also you can uh, go for uh, buying puts or calls accordingly so yes uh, that's how the nifty derivatives indicator and the bank nifty derivatives indicator work and uh, also uh, the same way bank nifty derivatives indicator also work you have all the similar features here so that's how you can uh, predict the market beforehand with the help of these models so i hope you liked it and i have also made several live streamings so that uh, you can understand uh, during the live market how things are working and so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one